94 XL, it's Moni XL. I'm sitting with the legendary Murphy Lee, Murph Dirty, second time around. Stay tuned. You're watching 94 XL. So you have your upcoming album, second time around coming up. So I want to know, like, what is the inspiration behind, one, the name and just the concept of the album itself? Um, the second time around is almost exactly what it is. This is my second time around. You know what I'm saying? I, I, um, I think I was having, when I went independent a while back, I think I was having trouble um, locating my exact fans. You know what I'm saying? Who's mm -hmm. for me? Because I think I was like, you know, going the regular route, you know, through Instagram, through certain channels. But my fan is, has, has grown a little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they be in different places. So I, I decided to call this album second time around so I can, you know, I'm finna walk up on my fans now. You know, yeah. I got, um, I got a, like a text, they can text call me at 314-408-TIX. Um, and um, that's me and um, what else? I'm just going around, I'm trying to literally go grab them one by one, you know what I'm saying? I think the only thing I've been missing for a long time, because I done put out about 80,000 albums, mixtapes and all that, mm -hmm. but I think I was missing my awareness, you know what I'm saying? Because um, cause I was on such a big label at first yeah. and then went independent, so you miss a lot of that. So I, I, this time around, I um, decided to self-finance and go and make some stuff go on for yeah. myself, that's all, you know what I'm saying? But it's a great album. Um, it's, I told somebody, it was. It's, this is almost, uh, 29 years worth of information, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. From the beginning of when I first picked up a pen to to now, I, I talked about everything from family to ticks to, um, you know, love, hate, partied a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Told <laughs> some great stories, got some cool concepts. Uh, yeah, man, this album for everybody. This album for you, you know what I'm saying? This album for all my day ones. This album for your daddy with the beep. <laughs> straight like that. That's what, oh, man. That's, that's what it's for. Nah, so tied into like the next question of like on a personal level, like what does this album just mean to you? Like, you know, things that you, like you said, kind of touched on, but like things you've dealt with before, like in the past mm. that it kind of like helped you get through. Uh, I mean, a lot. Like I said, I, I got a little vulnerable in this, in this situation. So um, we usually just, you know, find some cool subjects and just talk about some stuff. We don't never tell what we really got going on by ourselves. You know what I'm saying? You can never, you can never find my Murphy Lee character, who I am, but through a verse. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. on here, I went there. You know what I'm saying? I'm painting a lot of pictures. Uh, I'm describing a lot of things, and I, I think this album right here um, is the motivation to keep doing what I do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I, I think, you know, the age thing that people was had going on. You know what I'm saying? For a long time. I learned that, nah, I'm not trying to be, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be the young dude. I'm literally on her cool. It's so many people my age and so many people in our age range who, you know what I'm saying, who was bumping lunatics so heavy is um, at an age where they want to hear something. But people, when, when artists do so much, when they get older, they literally stop rapping. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They stop rapping because they be saying that. Like, I can't keep up with these young dudes and yeah. things of that nature, but they forget about that the fan that grew up on you don't want to listen to certain stuff. Same thing you saying you don't want to listen. They don't want to listen to it neither. They want to hear some good music. So what you talking about, if you keep it real with yourself and, and you know, be yourself on it and, and be unique. I say those loyal fans, they'll come back or yeah. they stay around, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, we built a nice foundation. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was fortunate enough to be a part of a great group. You know what I'm saying? To where we built a nice foundation to where it don't even take this album for me to see my fans like that. You know what I'm saying? I can, I'm literally, I can go, what the hood gonna be for the rest of my life and shake <laughs> yep. a tail feather all day long. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's great to be able to put out a piece of music like this. And uh, this might be one of the first albums I like. You know what I'm saying? I'm so hard on myself. Mm. And I, like I said, I told you, I put out 80 million projects. But this one here is something special. I don't know what I did. I, I think I knitted together pretty well. Um, I'm excited as I'm a, I ain't yeah, been this I excited as a tell. mug, man. Like, <laughs> I straight went, as soon as somebody say second to Toronto Rock, the moving, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's, it's big. Um, we had so many big hits that when we was doing concerts, you know what I'm saying, going in, we only could do our hits. So we never got a chance to, like, introduce new music and, um, you know what I'm saying, just do other songs yeah. off the album just out the blue. We just never could because we had a certain amount of time on stage 
and we had so many hits that had to be played that we never got a chance to venture out like this. So this one right here is like something I can get on stage and literally just do the album from yeah. beginning to end. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's set up like that too. You know so what I'm how, saying? So how has it been though when it comes to like marketing and you know, now it's social, everything's social media. I love it. Like how has it been with trying to promote the album and get everything together compared to how it was before when we didn't really you or didn't really have social media and you yeah. know. I you mean, know that was saying. that was hard. Like now you, you just think about it like how hard we had it to have to get somebody to get up out their house, go down the street and pick up a CD yeah. and come, you know what I'm saying? It was it was a moment, but at the same time, it was a feeling too that you got when you had to go make that trip to get this CD and get it and love it. And now it's your mood, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm trying to bring with second time around. Like you can get the single, like I'm dropping, I got a single dropping on the 24th. I got a single dropping on October 1st. I might drop another single a month later. You know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. can get the singles on your streaming services, but the album, you got to come to me. You know what I'm saying? This is a straight moment. It's a vibe. This ain't no petty stuff. This is, <laughs> this is that real deal. And I um and it's well worth it, you know what I'm saying? And I, I want you to, I want you to, I want you to, to feel like you have something, you know what I'm saying? When you got it, I don't want you to just, oh man, that album was tight, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want you to be like, I spent my ten or I spent whatever I spent on this album, and it was worth it, like a sandwich, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> like a, like, like a, a meal, yeah, like a meal, like you know how you go somewhere to eat and it was right, you like, boy, that was well worth it. That was it, you know what I'm saying? You don't yeah. even care what you spent because it was it. That's what that's what this album is, you know what I'm saying? And it's memorabilia. It's it's not just a um it's not it's not something you just throw on a streaming service and, and just, you know what I'm saying, listen for for a week and it's done with. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I got some cle I got some stuff on this album that that you might bob so much that you didn't hear nothing I said, you like that part. You feel what I'm saying? To so work. We're just, okay, it's definitely a, okay. yeah, it's definitely so now I gotta go back to that bob. <laughs> then it's gonna be like Oh, you said that? You know what I'm saying? Then the hook stuck in your head because you done bobbed it too many times. Mm -hmm. Now it's there. It's like it's so much stuff that can stick with you. And then I'm just, like I said, I pinpoint a lot of um, a lot of stuff that represents how I grew up and how people, you know what I'm saying, who, who relate to us. Yeah. Um, like... Grew up. And, they, and I think they're going to relate to that a lot. Like, And it's a, it's, a fa it's a fan's album, too. You know what I'm saying? I did mm -hmm. a lot of homage to, to my day ones, to my family. Now, do you have any features you can tell us yeah, yeah, yeah. about yeah, anyone yeah. from St. Louis? Um, <laughs> on St. Louis, I got um, my wife, Seven Lee, on that thing. I got my daughter, Essence Lee. Um, she's called, she did a monologue for me on this song. It's crazy. Okay. Um, Seven's on there like two or three times. I um, also got Sag Live. He produced three songs on the album, and he's on the hook of one of my singles called Star Me. Okay. Uh, that thing crazy. I love that song. Um, I also got um, J.E. I went back to J.E. He did three beats on my thing. I went back to Coco, who did Tail Feather. He's on there. He got like um, three beats on that thing. Um, it's a young dude. My, um, it's actually Ali from the group, nephew. His name is Zoom. He's 16 years old. He did a beat on there. Okay. It's amazing. He's from St. Louis. Um, who else on that thing, man? I got the Hamiltons on there. I love the Hamiltons, <laughs> man. They from North Carolina, but I love the Hamiltons. <laughs> And um, I was just a fan to be able to get them on there. That was pretty dope. Um, I appreciate them brothers because they went in. They they did more than what they could. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you know how you send somebody a record and they just get on it? You know what I'm saying? They really went in. And um, I got, like, all you can get from a from a trio. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got them on three different hoods. You doing this, <laughs> saying this. You go up, you go down. It was it was a lot of work, but it was super dope. And they, they was with it. And they was, you know what I'm saying, happy to be on the song. Video came out crazy, so um, that will be available on streaming services this Friday. Um, it's called Second Time Around. That's the lead single. Okay. And um, but the album will be available also on newmerf.com. Um, come on home. You know what I'm saying? Come get that thing. So you're gonna be out. We're gonna go see you in places. You're gonna be handing out albums too. Um, CDs. I'm, st I'm still digital, digitized yeah. a little bit. Yeah, it's just not gonna be on your your streaming service. You still gotta come get it from me. That's all. You okay. know what I'm saying? You'll be able to get a link. I'm selling links. I'm selling them. Um, I got it all. You know what I'm saying? But we just really finna take it to independence level because I, I just kind of want to show. I don't know how to talk talk to the artists when it comes to this to selling your music. I only know how to tell you like 
about the music, you know what I'm saying? So when it comes to the marketing thing, I be trying, everybody got their own thing, how they want to mm -hmm. put something out, you know what I'm saying? So I want to show and prove. I want to literally show you what we could be doing because on these streaming servers, they're giving us pennies, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. if you ain't the top of the top, you're not getting nothing from this, you know what I'm saying? So we find ourselves throwing our whole album on there a week later. We was bumping it all week, but a week later, we on some, something else. Right. So fast, you know what I'm saying? But if somebody bought it just like they would have bought a T-shirt from you, I'm bumping that. Like, that's in my car because I paid for that. I'm, it's all day with it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the same way you bought that T-shirt. Like, I'm wearing a T-shirt a few times. How about that? That's like, how I'm going to take my little selfies in yeah. my T-shirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing it that first time. Then about, I'm wearing it a couple weeks later. It's my T-shirt. I paid for it and everything, you know what I'm saying? So we could, that's why I said I wanted to be memorabilia. So we got Murph packs, you know what I'm saying? We got something for, like, on three different scales of prices that come with different things, special stuff in them. You know what I'm saying? So I say you've been busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We marketing. We on a mission, man. I, I'm, I'm actually not playing with this. Um, like I said, this is my first time being able to actually put something behind a straight project. The other times I was putting it out because I didn't know how to do it, so I was just putting it out on the streaming service. Let it go. What are we gonna do? Not knowing it, that it's something behind everything. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So now I see the game. I studied it a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm the guinea pig right now of this situation, but I'm here to tell you, it's working. Yeah. It's working, it's working, and, and, and I just wanna, but one thing about it too, you can't just give the people anything too. You know what I'm saying? I knew the worth of this actual project. It ain't like I'm just, I can't, I can't just give you anything. You know what I'm saying? If it was just something I was just putting together, boom, 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 we would went straight to mixtape stream yeah. so I'm cool with that. But this right here was something special, you know what I'm saying? Second time around, solid album all the way through, you know what I'm saying? I'm not allowed to call it a classic. Got to, people got to call it that, but it will be available. Um, like I said, text me at 314-408-TICKS. That's 8427. And uh, leave your name, and I'm, I'm going to hit you back, lock you in and everything, and the album info is going to go out in a couple days. Well, you know, this is a big moment for St. Louis, but like, ha have you been keeping up with like St. Louis artists and Always. like the industry here. So like, how have you been feeling about the, the music scene here? I just like the hustle. Like I'm here to tell you, like we grind like no other. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing stops us. I don't care what you say. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what we do, what we try. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing stops this place. You know what I'm saying? So I, all the young ones, man, I just see it. I see it clearly. You know what I'm saying? And I see the uniqueness. I see the um, individuality of mm -hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what I be looking for. Cause um, I don't like when people sound like people. I can't stand it, like, and we definitely shouldn't sound like nobody from no other city, none yeah. of that stuff like that. So when I be seeing a unique, oh, that's how he dress, that's him. Every time I see him in a club or he doing his thing, he it look like that. And when he on a song, it sound like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know who that is. You know what I'm saying? I love that part of the game. It's some, it's some cold people, man. We got some, we got some legendary things going on in St. Louis right now, and actually real movements moving and grooving yeah. that a lot of people don't <laughs> know about. But you'll get, you just keep. Keep Googling, keep following the people, man, and seeing what's going on. Okay, yeah. uh, before I wrap you up into the Cause of Rage R segment, like, tell us about all these events you got this weekend coming oh, up. Oh yeah, the event's gonna be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. First of all, we got the Murphy Lee Experience. Um, it's the first of, first of one of one, one of ones, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's a comedy show, comedy meets hip hop and R&B, live band. Um, man, I got, this, I got this lady named Ro, saxophonist man she's so cold man she gonna rock that thing you know what i'm saying um, my daughter's performing my niece is performing it's a family thing we got going on my sister is a comedian she's performing um we got the the, the national comedian marcus combs he okay. cold he gonna be he gonna turn that thing up we got um st <laughs> louis's own national comedian hot sauce brandon hot sauce glover he cold as a mug and we all know the comedian darius bradford go nuts he gonna be hosting the thing all night it's gonna be crazy man and then i'm um we going live with second time around. What you got Saturday going on? Then Saturday we got the um, it's, we got a little pop up shop going on. Um, shout out to Arch Apparel, um, St. Louis Ticks and Arch Apparel linked up to uh, come up with a crazy um, few 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 good, you know what I'm saying? A few shirts, few 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 things that you can um, purchase down there. Um, so come on down to uh, Arch Rivals down at Bar Park Village. It's gonna be crazy from one to four, right? It's from one. I'm asking her like, right? She's like, have me. It's from 12 to 4. It's from 12 to 4. Um, come on down, man. We're going to be um, listening to the new album. And you can come buy the new album, too. I got it I, I got it on deck. I got it on deck. If you see me at a stoplight, I got the album. It's going down. No, no, we taking it on back. I told you this for, the, this for your daddy with the beeper. We taking it back. Wait, let me call now, my daddy real quick. We going hand in hand. We going straight to the people, man. We, this is, 
we taking it back for the artists, man. The art, it's time for the artists. There's no way these music businesses is making billions and billions, and these artists don't got a billion. Yeah. Like the art, somebody should have a billion because you're the one that's doing the thing. Mm -hmm. There's no way, you know what I'm saying? So that's all I'm on. I'm, on, I'm for the artists right now okay. and for the fans. From the artists to the fans, should be straight to that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the DJs. They are the link to that too, and that's that's it. We shouldn't be playing with that other game that's going on until they fix it. They just need to fix it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm excited yeah. for you. You got a busy weekend, a busy rest of the year. Yeah, it's man. Gonna you be gonna lit. come out? You gotta come on out, man. I, I got a couple tickets for you, son, man. Come on out, yonder, man. Well, before we talk about that, yeah, yeah. go ahead and pull three questions out this jar. I don't know about that. I'm gonna pull, <laughs> pull four. You gonna pull four? Okay. Yeah, gonna pull four. Exclusive. Man. Is there a personality trait you just can't stand? Oh yeah, I can't stand. Um, I can't stand the fact that you really would kill somebody. <laughs> like you straight mad. Like you straight up. Your brain so twisted. You straight up like, why well, can't stand that person? You know, y'all can't even explain. All I'm trying to trying to mock it. I can't even mock it. I'm, the person that don't give a damn about nothing. At any point in time, I always talking about it now. Every time somebody talking about anything, we be talking about business right now. He gonna bring up something. Man, you heard about them talking that stuff around y'all? That person, I can't stand that person. <laughs> that's just always into something. That's always on some negative stuff. I just don't like negativity. You don't like that energy. Nah, that's silly energy. Cause then, like, if you make it to grow up, cause it's a lot of times when you acting like that, you're not gonna make it to grow up. You yeah. did a jail. But if you make it past that level, you're going to look at that person like, man, I was acting like that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to grow up out there. And, that's, and I wish I could tell you now to like, go on, start changing. Now, it's no wrong with being grown up. Yeah. Yeah. That's good enough. What's your very first memory? <laughs> My very first memory. The beeper. <laughs> that's funny. <isn't> <laughs> My very first memory, for some reason, always come to my head is cooking hamburgers <laughs> when I was younger. <laughs> Knowing I was too young, cook them hamburgers. <laughs> hamburgers. I'm talking about we used to put them in. The, I knew something was wrong because we used to put them at the bottom of the stove under the broiler. They was in the box, you know, the packs, it's boom, boom, you slide the paper off. You know, because you're my brother, we ate them together. And you put them things on the bottom like fish sticks. That's all I remember. I, I'm talking about, that's one of my memories. Every time I think about that. When I first think about childhood memory, it be the hamburger. Hamburger, hamburger? Hamburger somebody made for you. Hamburger you made. Yeah. <laughs> In what circumstances is it okay to commit a crime? <laughs> <laughs> In what circumstances is it okay to commit a crime? <laughs> he talking about pee pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, stop it. They don't give me nothing. Uh, in what circumstances <laughs> oh is it okay to God. commit a crime? Um, after you already passed the crime. I'm hot. <laughs> you feel me? Like after you already did it for real and then you know, you like, you should put that, nah, go on, hey, nah, you, you already did. <laughs> no Might as well keep going. Yeah, like you can pass the thing. Oh, you know, for, for real, okay. okay. You're from 314. He's trying to be different. Yeah, you know, I ain't normal now. <laughs> if you could visit one planet, which would it be? There's more planets than Earth. <laughs> 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 um, if you could visit one planet, what would it be? It definitely ain't Mars, cause Mars, somebody up there. That's all they talk about. That's, every time somebody bring up another planet, they be like Mars, don't they? Somebody there. What about Pluto? We gonna go to Saturn or somewhere. We gonna go somewhere Saturn. else where something ain't at. I'm cool. I'm all right. Okay, well thank you so much. Yeah, let's do one more. Oh, that you was just whack. you want to take the whole jar? <laughs> that was a planet. Which ooh, which dead which dead celebrity do you most identify with? Oh. Oh baby, I like it raw. 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 Shimmy, shimmy, y'all, shimmy, yo, shimmy, you. That's Ella's exclusive. That's all dirty bastard. You didn't know she too young, you know that. That's 
ODB, baby, Wu Tang for life. Understand it. Baby, ooh, baby, I like it, bro. Ooh, baby, I like it. Bro. I'm on the XL. We're out. Be easy. <laughs> It's your girl, Moni XO, and you just finished a 94 XO interview. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment to our YouTube channel, and follow us on social media platforms. Be easy.